Hey there guys, I have a video for um, explaining my brush pack that I have on uh, Gum Road and Art Station. It is just going to break down what my brushes are. I keep getting asked uh, what brushes I use. So I'm just going to do a video and break those things down. And we'll go with the first one. This is just a really basic brush where it's kind of just a little mech detail and I just tend to use it sometimes on little things just to generate some ideas. Nothing, you know, nothing fancy. And next one is like a fold type of detail. For say when you come in, it's, it's type of like fold of this kind of hard edge. And generally you can, you know, start to work work these details in to your to your design. You you'll find a way to do it once you it's very much coming up with a methodology of how you work not necessarily how I work and everyone works different and thinks differently so how you start using these brushes are always going to be tailored to the person so really coming in and you can start refining certain details and start to kind of see how things go it's you know that it, it's basically taking your time with forms and not also taking your time so roughing in details so this would for the sake of this video, it's just a rough thing I'm doing at the moment. I am no good at working and uh, explaining things. So we'll go to the next one. This is just generally like a detail that's kind of, it's like a hard edge, soft edge bevel on the top. And so, I mean, you can come in and do little things like that. They're not meant to be these crisp, clean detailing brushes. They're generating ideas for you they coming in and you you have to come in and clean up things and get those things to be a cleaner state because it, when you come in with these really clean brushes it confines you into a way of thinking and, and working so when you're in this concept phase at the start it's just generally playing with things and really have no attachment don't don't attach anything so Coming in, and I can even just set the resolution lower here and play with things. As always, I'm no good with uh, talking and doing doing any type of work. But you can generally see how things start to come together. And you're trying to find what you want. I'm not uh, really sure, but generally you can start mixing these brushes. You start finding things eventually. Give yourself a little bit of time. All right. So this is like a, another kind of brush that's an interesting, just interesting really. It, it work, You can make it work on the line tool and you can come in and use it in the inverse way. So you can turn that lazy, well, the backtrack option off. And so you might want to play with the radius, the lazy steps, and set it a bit lower. It's not the neatest tool, but your lazy radius would uh, clean it up also once you start working with these brushes that you, you have to because it's kind of got the alpha and it's clipping you have to blend it a little bit better everything takes a little bit of play and they're not perfect brushes by any any stretch of the imagination they're not meant to be they're here for you to be creative and just loose just be loose with stuff it, it a hard surface design doesn't it really doesn't cater to the loose thinking and so these brushes for me they do so I can generate ideas but people can get somewhat um, confined by what hard surface is you know it's hard it's meant to be clean and and it's the the opposite of um, orga organic but you try and blend those two here but um, this is a just a kind of you can do some details like that, things like that. Is it's you have you have to of course pick where you want to balance these things. The you know when you're working and you're designing, you're looking at um, balancing the details throughout the design and having an aesthetic appeal. It's not about chucking random things and hoping things stick. So this is another one it's just a cylinder and kind of like it's a detail it's in the detail you can 
come in and make it deeper. You could come up with some ventilations. You could even do that. You do it. Is it E-remesh or not? Not E-remesh, remesh, Dynamesh, and you can just pull things and just play, play, have a play with these brushes. You'll generate something. This is, you'll do a better job than me um, explaining these brushes and working. But uh, that's another one. It's just a flat uh, square and uh, pretty much, well, you could call it a rectangle. But it is, so you can come in and do whatever details, come along, and such things. All right, so here's a cylinder one, very much the same. You can come in and draw things like that and create some sort of layering, which everything is, you know, a form of layering when you're working. You should have that understanding that uh, when you work, you're applying layers and uh, building up detail in that way. So this is kind of a decent uh, finding seams panel construction lines, I would call it. And you can just draw over it, try and just be loose with that. And just, and, you know, this is like the best design I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here explaining brushes. And here we go. I might actually try and uh, maybe I can make it something great. Who knows? But this one's a nice, um, just a layering one, a freeform layering. Sometimes I like to just trace around certain details and create a, a second layer of effects. And then as soon as you layer it more, and you just start building things up. Like so. Okay, we've got another one, which is a kind of rounded brush. I believe my naming conventions for these brushes are tube detail. So there we go. You can kind of see how I can come in to these other details and start adding details. And that's what um, I like to do is layer brushes with other brushes. You can see how that works pretty good. It looks like an alpha. It's a com combination of um, techniques and stuff like that. So the tube soft one, that's just a nice soft detail. It's great for adding certain little effects like that, right? So you can come in and I think once, generally laying down details and you know, trying to find what works. It takes it takes practice. It's like sitting down and drawing. You're not gonna draw something just because just because you can sit in 3D and undo things to the umph time. It's um, practice makes perfect, right? So how do you get to Carnegie Hall practice? It's uh, it's the beast. It's the beast. You know, like that thing that no one wants to do. It's practice, practice, practice. You sit down and you practice. So I generally sit and. I guess I would do that in a sense and start coming in here with the trim adaptive things like that. And combination of using this stuff in ZBrush with um, th your traditional hard surface brushes, I would uh, advise. Not just using mine, the H polish, the trim adaptive, move tool. You've got lots of things, and I've got those things in my tutorials. I mean, everything you could always just turn into a face. You could find the eyes here and start, you know, finding the eyes. You could even, uh, there you go, we've got some funky eyes, little ears. You can start to incorporate things, come in and maybe want to cut. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It just really starts to come together. As soon as you really shut up and work. <laughs> I'm not one for um I don't know how people do it, they work and uh talk. I think I can work and talk gibberish, but um it's not my skill to work and explain things in detail to educate people. And we can just you know, you just start playing with stuff really. But um, then as soon as you start adding uh, your traditional little bold details and stuff like that, it all just comes together. 
But uh, yeah, that is the ZBrush concept brush pack. So it's pretty much just coming in and detailing things and making really, really great models like this. <laughs> but I uh, assure you guys, uh, it will uh, be very useful. And um, yeah, I hope uh, hope you guys get get some fun out of it and uh, whatever you come up with, I would love to see and um, always love to see people's uses of my uh, brushes and things like that. So, all right, guys, uh, this is the end and uh, later, guys.